Hey YouTube, it's Audrey. And my girl Shantae decided to host her first YouTube swap. And it is a gift card holder swap. And I, of course, had to participate. And in the swap, we were paired in groups of four. And we had to make three gift card holders for our partners. That's three each. So, um, you had to use some kind of pattern paper and at least one embellishment um, on your card and package them nicely, of course. So, I will show you my first card. And I'm doing this one-handed because my I'm cleaning my craft room and my tripod is somewhere buried somewhere. <laughs> anyway, I will try and do my best to show this well to you. This is my first one, and it is a present-shaped um, gift card holder, and it measures roughly about four and a half, or five and a half by four and three quarters, something like that. Um, I use sparkle glitter paper and a like seafoam, dark seafoam green. Actually, it's kind of ombre. Um, some of them will be more silver as it gets down to the bottom, depending on where I cut it out. But this is a silhouette file, and I added a white Aurora Borealis bling flower that has a bling center. I added some random... Um, they're actually half backs and they're these little um, um, hard resin half backs that I got at Scrapbook Expo a while ago. The back, I have just a stripe that is like the ribbon. Then I use Velcro to close it and not really happy with the Velcro because it's kind of thick, but it works. So, open it up. And I have the to and from there. And it's not centered, and I apologize for that, but I stamped the to and from before I thought about it. And I would have moved the from over so that they could be centered. So, please forgive the fact that they're not centered. <laughs> And then you open it up, and it's just plain on the inside. And I've added a piece of double-sided tape here where you can add the gift card here. And then I left this blank down here in case you want to write a note to the person. So this can serve as a card and a gift card holder. And you can add whatever sentiment that you want. So that's my first one. My second one, I did something for the guys. I made a suit version of a gift card holder. And it has a necktie and a shirt and a collar. I did a pocket to match the shirt. Then I added a pocket square. I made the all of the shirts are going to have a different pattern paper. Um, but they all have two things in common. They all have black suits and cream collars and a cream um, pocket square. The buttons will match colors in the shirt. So I added two wooden buttons. The back is just plain. You can see the lapels there. And then it has just a notch opening. That's pretty easy. Just slip that out. So there's the notch opening. And then you open it up. And inside you can see more of the pattern paper which is the shirt you can see the whole tie and then there are two notches that would hold a gift card so um i just wanted to show you that in there so that you know that there are two notches there 
So that is the gift card holder for the guy in your life that you need to give a gift card to. So that's my second one. And then the third one is the small but mighty one. Now this one right here, the other suit was a silhouette file too. Now this one, I used some elements that were um, silhouette files like um, I'll tell you when I get to them. Um, but um, I this was inspired by a card that I saw doing a crafters create or not crafters creation crafters companion um, demonstration on home shopping network on craft day the other day. Um, and I decided I would recreate it even though I'm not using crafters companion dies. But I thought it was so stinking cute and I couldn't wait to do it. And this was the great opportunity to do so. But as you can see, I used a pink ombre um, glitter paper. So some of you will get ones that are lighter pink and some of them they will be like different shades of pink. So I cut out, I cut out a hat a shoe and a woman in a gown and this word shine and then I added some little iridescent pink sequins there is pattern paper under there this pink I used a pink shimmer paper and there you can see the shimmer on it um, for the base and then my information is there I made this with a little eighth inch gusset. So you open it up and this little under the flap, this is where you will put the gift card if you choose to. I did not put the um, double sided tape here because of the paper um, I thought it might be better if once you got it if you wanted to use a repositional dot or however you wanted to do it but I thought that the paper um, was really like it was it was I like the paper um, it says stuff like thankful for you love you more home is where the heart is shine bright pretty um, reward yourself be kind the best is yet to come those kind of things so I did not want to um, put the double or uh, the double sided tape there because it will tear when you tear it off so um, I would recommend using some repositional tape when you stick the gift card here then this is a holographic XOXO um, that you can see the different colors there so, um, then once you open it, that's when the magic starts to happen. And I'm ruining my own reveal. Because <laughs> I'm doing it one hand. Here we go. It is a pop-up card. And I have used a silhouette file for the pop-up and you can see those pop-ups and they graduate so there's a longer one a medium one and a short one I have used a silhouette file and cut this out three different sizes so it's the same um, figure just in three different sizes I use cut apart from the paper collection um, which is die cuts with a view um, I don't even remember it's pink something um, one of the new double sided ones and it says the best is yet to come and that's in the holographic paper each one will have a different saying then I stamp the to and from um, here on another piece of paper 
And then this background paper is black with holographic dots. I just love this card. I love it, I love it, I love it. It was a labor of love. There's lots of pieces to cut, to die cut, to glue. <laughs> Woo, it took me quite a while to do this card. But I pulled out some older things. Um, well not older, but things I hadn't used. Um, like a couple of the dies on the front, this paper pad. Um, I even used my Misty doing this whole project, and I had not ever used it. And I've had it for like over a year, but I really loved it to be able to stamp the to and from in the same place on all the pieces. So, um, this can sit up, and like I said, you can put the gift card here. And then that person can set this up on their desk if they lean it correctly. And that could just be a reminder and sit on the shelf or something like that. So, um, I forgot to show you where I have put the to and from on the guy card. It's on there, but I forgot to show you. It is here under the gift card. You can see the two there and the from there. So it is there. Now I will show you how I package them. Packaging is simply each one is individually packaged. And then I put all three of those individual packages in a larger clear bag. I just used a white doily and I added a sea foam and gold bow. I put everybody's initials. Um, this is for Stephanie Patterson. This is for Tina, who's tell him thank you. This is for my, I think it's my heavenly home and paper garden. And then Shantae's simply has an S. Um, and then there is a goodie in the back of the bag for each of you. So I sincerely hope that you like all of my offerings and that my um, group partners will like what I have made. Um, I have fun making them. And I got a chance to do some different things while I was making them. So, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Shantae, for hosting your first swap. Woo, you almost done. Now the work begins where those swaps start coming in. And you got to sort them out. <laughs> but I know you can do it, girl. I know you can do it. So, thank you, everybody, for watching. And you have a great and very, very blessed day. Bye-bye.